this is the highest speed I see lava moving so far. It's moving about 10 kilometers per hour, a bit faster than human walks. Because it's uh, running down the hill. Line lava. It makes very peculiar noise when it runs. Horrible smell. Lava brook, lava stream. It will, it will eventually get to Meradalar Valley, it just to has to get through the old lava, which is blocking the way for it, down there. And it's uh, Meradalar Fall, new one. It's around 6 o'clock right now. Sunset's pretty late in Iceland now. Every day we have longer and longer days. I have a drone, I will try to fly a drone over it, see what happens. really nice look the only thing you need is a bolt <laughs> a small bolt A few days ago, last Thursday, I was on the other side when I was filming lava and ice on that hill and now most of action is here. It's very narrow flow, just two meters wide, or maybe one meter and a half. 
very narrow and speedy flow. Let's do experiment. Throw a stone in that flow. I take a huge stone like this. We we'll see. And I'm going to throw it. Hope I hit it. One, two, three. Oh, it's hard. You see it. I did hit it. And it's just jump it off. Like it hit uh, some hard surface, so it's very strange because it's uh, moving. You see, it looks like it's fluid. Let's do it again. Another rock. You see? Wow! Then it went down. It landed uh, and started burning. It landed in some soft, uh, spongy, like spongy uh, material. Very dumb sound, so it's like you land in snow or something, like in moss. So it's very hot. I don't think st stone will melt. Uh, let's do it again. I'm throwing a stone into that flow. Look. Get to the other side. Again. If it hits the black parts of the flow, uh, then it jumps off. But if I hit uh, the orange part, then it sinks. So this black uh, covering, which is on the flow, is hard. The stone will jump off from it. But the orange sinks the stone. Many people today.